I initially came up with this, you know, line about if I can't have your love, I don't want nothing at all. And I just sort of thought, this is so sort of big and kind of dramatic and it could be awful or it could be great. If I can't have your love, I don't want nothing at all. If I can have your love I was slightly afraid of the lyric to begin with but it just felt the right lyric for this song and it felt like it had the right energy and it wasn't cheesy and awful so yeah and it's, I've had a really great reaction from the people who've said that it's, it's my best song and I, and so I'm really delighted with how that one turned out And that ending don't mean a thing to me A lot of the time, it kind of just starts one song at a time. So I think when I was touring the last record, a few ideas just started to come and my dictaphone that I've got on my phone just sort of started to build up with little sort of melodies and things. I suppose it is just reflecting, a, you know, me at a different stage in my life, at a different point of, you know, close, just a, you know, a few years closer to death. So, you know, there's obviously a certain urgency there. The title track itself, Deep River, is, is actually kind of about trying to find meaning and trying not to force life and trying to, to just experience life and, and, and let, I mean I, I use nature as a kind of allegory, I, you know I use nature as, as a kind of greater truth if you like. I think this might be my best record. Um, I know people are always going on about how great their latest product is, but folks, this is it. This is gold. If I can have your love, I don't want nothing at all.